Now, coming up, a movie becomes a hit without ever playing in theaters. The formula for, for lovers only may turn out to be the new math for Hollywood movie production. That's after the break on Bloomberg West. Today in the new Hollywood, looking at how technology is transforming the entertainment business, big budget studio films may still dominate in the theaters, but one filmmaker has found a way to deliver his shoestring budget flick via iTunes, and his profit margins are soaring. I dreamt that the bar was empty and that I was thirsty. You've never seen this film in theaters or on DVD. I love the way that you kiss me. But iTunes users have a lot of them. We really bet on word of mouth. And with the internet, you know, positivity spreads fast. Fast enough to make Mark Polish's independent film for lovers only the number one romance movie on iTunes for two weeks and in the top ten for over a month. The whole picture was filmed in 12 days for next to nothing with this $2,500 camera Polish already owned, an impossible feat for a studio project. Their investment is hundreds of millions of dollars, so if you want to make one of those types of movies, you're definitely going to have to go there. We're not as beholden to any kind of studio uh, requirements, any studio accountants, which means there's more freedom for us to create. The internet became attractive when Polish and actress Stana Kadic realized that studios wouldn't be interested. So Kadic agreed to a paycheck only if the film turned a profit, an unusual role for the star of hit network show, Castle. Castle is great because that allows a certain freedom, you know, I don't have to worry about paying rent on a weekly basis or monthly basis. For Lovers makes money through downloads on iTunes, $4.99 to rent for 24 hours and $14.99 to buy. Apple keeps 30 to 40 percent depending on the type of download. Though the filmmaker's estimated $300,000 profit so far is minuscule by studio standards, some big films have recently lost tens of millions. The sci-fi action flick Cowboys and Aliens had a budget of $163 million, but only brought in $108 million worldwide, while the Reese Witherspoon comedy How Do You Know had a budget of $120 million and earned a measly $49 million worldwide. If iTunes, in fact, continues to grow and if Amazon and Netflix and those types of online dis uh, distribution methods continue to grow, uh, it very well could be a viable option for a lot of these smaller filmmakers. So the addressable market will grow, so I think this will be a market that Hollywood will look at uh, increasingly over time. Memories are made of it. Of course, if you're not Stana Kadic with a hit show or Mark Polish, an already established director, you may not be able to survive on internet alone. Analysts say while this straight to iTunes model is likely to grow, it's still a niche market catering to a demographic that doesn't mind waiting 45 minutes for a movie to download. Definitely skews towards the younger demos um, and, you know, the demo that, that's used to uh, interacting with iTunes, for example, that's used to uh, downloading music, downloading uh, video. And with the big studio shedding lower budget arms like Miramax and Rogue Pictures, films like For Lovers Only may soon be seen on the internet only. There is a generation that's growing up that's doing nothing but watching every piece of content on the web. Oh, we're just starting. Okay. This is this is one small step for the independent filmmaker, I, I believe. That's a wrap for Lovers Only. Yeah! Emily Chang, Bloomberg, San Francisco. For Lovers Only did no traditional marketing and relied solely on word of mouth and social media.